This is a beautiful little spot. This is such a cool place. It's just literally like an island hopping place that you come to chill and just like hang out and take in sunsets like this on the beach really. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I was so zoned out doing my packing. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at you. We're leaving, which is so sad. Leaving Boracay to go to Palawan, which is exciting. If there was one good thing about the fact that we are leaving, it's literally the fact that we're going to Palawan. So we're flying to El Nido today, which a lot of people didn't know. In fact, we didn't know when we last came to the Philippines that you could fly from a lot of places with Air Swift to uh, El Nido. So we're super excited for that, but it is a shame because it's the last time we're going to be able to check out this incredible view of Boracay from our apartment here. This is the last chance. We're leaving in about half an hour and then we've got to grab, we've got an epic travel day actually to get there, but exciting times ahead. So if you're new here, we've been in Boracay now for a month. Yep. And it has been, we've loved it. Absolutely loved it. It's been a really, really great place. I would have to say my favorite memories, just quickly actually, if you are new here, there's about 10 videos that we've made from here, but um, my favorite memory would probably be sitting at Dinnywood Beach, which is not the main beach here, with a DJ playing, sun setting, beer, beer in hand, feet in the sand, like just those. good vibes, eh? I That's... was going to say a memory too, but he stole mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, we're lying. <laughs> anyway, we're about to grab our bags and let's get this way, this way, this day, this let's day. Let's get this way let's started. Let's get this way on the day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> So the tickets were 25 pesos each. So we had to spend, I think it's 100 pesos on uh, what was that? Terminal, fee? terminal fee. So all up, I'm trying to do the math real quick, I think 250 pesos. Wow, you're gonna miss this place. I'm not sure if I mentioned back there why we were jumping on the ferry. It's because uh, Barkai actually is a tiny island by itself. So we had to catch a ferry back over to Cataclan, which is where we are now. Sitting in our trike here talking about Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> talking about Christmas. we've got to the airport here, it's probably the tiniest little airport I've ever seen. In fact, no, from memory, Caron Airport was even smaller, but um, we're about an hour early, so we've just stopped in this little place back here. I'll show you in a second. Um, gonna grab ourselves a couple of local beef uh, Filipino-style breakfast. Here it is. We've got some rice, some egg, and some beef. And I'm not sure, what's this other stuff, babe? Any thoughts? No idea. No idea what it is. We've got a little bit of a chili, some sauce, a beer. So this is called the beef tupper and it's sort of like a breakfast thing which is not really like a western breakfast but it's absolutely delicious. Some of you guys will probably never come here but if you do we highly recommend and you fly with Air Swift that you prepay online for extra baggage. We've only got two or three people in front of us but we're waiting forever because everyone's being stung with the extra baggage charge. It only You only get 10 kilograms which nobody travels with 10 kilos surely. Anyway, you can prepay online and you pay 200 pesos and you get the extra 10 kilos per person. Pretty sure these people here are being stung with like thousands according to our calculations. Uh, 200 pesos per kilogram. Stacey smelled some coffee though, so we're on a mission and it looks like there's a couple of small places here, but I think that's the one that's caught her eye. So it totally happened. <laughs> I got my drink, but now I have to consume it within about 10 seconds yeah. before I get on this bus. So intense.
So that's it, it was a quick 45 minute flight and we've landed, we're in Palawan, we're in El Nido. We just pulled onto the tiniest little airport and we've walked out onto this like rocky area because we don't have a transfer, we don't have a pickup, we're not staying anywhere fancy tonight. Yeah, it's just so casual, just waiting on basically, waiting on one of those. So just waiting here with our little bags, <laughs> along with everybody else. <laughs> and the airport we've come in from is just this tiny little spot in there with just like a single runway. We've got a very basic <laughs> and humble room tonight. Got AC though, that's what you always need. Nice bed. Sink is in the lounge here. <laughs> and then you walk through out of the master suite into the, <laughs> into the ensuite and shower. I think location is the thing that's key here. So right behind us, I think this is like one room that's actually part of a restaurant and a bar that they rent out. So naturally, we're gonna go and explore the streets very briefly, but more importantly, I think he said happy hours here. Stace is struggling with the bag. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm okay. good. Sun's about to set, we're right, literally right on the ocean front. So we are gonna go and get ourselves a drink. So once you step out from outside our place, this is it, this is El Nido. It's a tiny little street. Well, more than one street, this is a tiny little street. And we're literally right at the end of the beach. This is a beautiful little spot. This is such a cool place. So we booked this place on Airbnb. It's called uh, Mezzanine. And like, as you just would have seen, like right on the ocean front. So much so that when we were here last time, we didn't even come down this end because... It's like cut off by... Yeah. Like the water comes so close to the shore that you can't like get around. Yeah, it's more the boats side. and stuff down here, isn't it? If we try to explain to you what El Nido is, if you don't know, Stace made a good point. It's like, um, you know when you see videos or compilations online? Of the Philippines, yeah. Of the yeah. Philippines, and there's like the drone shots with the limestone cliffs and stuff. El Nido is generally, or Caron. So El Nido is generally where you base yourself and you go on those beautiful island like day tours. It is literally just a tiny little beach town. There's not much to do here. The roads are tiny. There's all sorts of little like walkways and everything. Um, there's no cars or anything that really float around the spot at all. It's just literally like an island hopping place that you come to chill and just like hang out and take in sunsets like this on the beach really. Sort of reflecting now on how different this place is it's got a like a familiar feeling it's been a, uh, a year almost a year I think it's today yeah so maybe like maybe like 10 months since we were here um, but yeah really different like places like this actually with like little handmade stuff and like custom built jewelry or I'm sorry I'm doing a terrible job of explaining it but you can get the gif just from like having a look in here a lot of the stuff is handmade none of these sort of shops actually like existed I don't think before empty-handed <laughs> I was just saying, I don't think any of this stuff ever existed like a year ago. I don't know if any of these shops were here. We were also very drunk a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if we were sober the whole time. Either way, this is the main street of uh, El Nido that we're walking on now. And so along here, just basically is like shops and a couple of restaurants and everything. But literally over to our left here is, is the beachfront. So any of these spots, every now and then you find a little place that you can like walk through. And then along the ocean front there, then there's like restaurants and stuff that you can sit down and properly have a dinner. Sadly, we've just looked and the ocean, the tide is right in. So all of the places that were like beautiful, like right on the beachfront are not ideal right now for food. But we're going to explore a little bit further we'll find somewhere and we'll come up with a plan anyway for now we're just just wondering we're gonna go down that alleyway and get some grilled fish probably yeah. I think we'll insert the footage here Oh, wow. 
I got an ice cream. <laughs> I got a latte and an ice cream today. Miss David. Like we said, the tide's not. The tide's in, so it won't be ideal. It's really noisy down there. We've got our B camera because it's dark, and oh, our B camera. B camera, B -camera yeah. sounding so fresh. And I think we just need to do a better job of showing you what El Nido looks like without just Tomorrow. rushing around tonight after a travel day. So check back then. Catch you in the comments. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I just panicked. Catch you in the Bye. comments.